All right, I'm going to do a little carpet seam here. Some of this stuff I like to record just so that I remember how to do it later on since I don't do it enough. Since I don't do it every day. I'm going to pull this seam tape up just a little bit so I can get the first part of it nice and hot because I can't get it um, when that first edge is on the tack strip. I usually just go till it's, um, I don't know how long, but just till it can slide along a little bit. So you can tell the glue's nice and hot. You gotta move quick. Put those edges down. My son calls this the carpet shark. It looks like a shark coming up out of the ground. I'm just going to press on it. Use this little guy to work the glue in a little bit. Keep moving it along. Make sure that my tape is still going in a straight line. No, I'm not a professional, but I don't like to pay people to do things for me, so I usually just figure out how to do it on my own. Really got to keep it moving. Shouldn't be able to see much of a seam there at all. If you're real good, you won't see a seam. But I'm not real good. The tape's starting to move a little bit. You want those that cut edge to line up perfectly, no overlap. On this last part, I like to lift it up out of there. So I get the very bottom of that tape. All right, I gotta get it out of there. I'm gonna get glue everywhere.
Make sure your edges are flat so that you don't have anything pulling on them. I put a seam across here earlier today. Can't really see it at all. I've got one right here that you can see just because I haven't raked it with my hand yet or walked on it enough. There's also one back here. But once I work it a little bit, those things should disappear completely. That one you can just tell because um, that's where my that's where my hand rubbed it. It's it's a little bit visible, but again, I'm not a professional. So that's how I do a seam anyway. Don't forget to plug unplug your iron. Thanks for watching.